all righty what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to the channel for another market update hope everybody's having a lovely day and with that being said let's get into the ta before we begin please leave a like on the video i would appreciate it the youtube algo would appreciate it and it would make me very happy all right so let's get in it because it's going crazy all right so let's just review what we talked about yesterday we were currently all the way down here guys did i think we were going to explode right up here no no but I did point out that we did break out of this bull structure, the inverse head and shoulders formation down here, as well as this continuation structure we had in the form of a bull flag and back test this guy with volume. So you knew, hey, all right, something was going on here. Um, we still have demand. And I did point out on Twitter, if you guys do want to go follow my Twitter, I will have a brief little update every single day. Uh, that will literally just not be like my Weeble updates, but they will just be one little paragraph just literally showing and pointing out what i will be looking for on the following trading session this is pretty much exactly what we're looking for on the following trading session i did point out if you do peek your head above 443.90 yes i do think rejections go like a pullback is very likely to come somewhere up here but i'm going to say i don't know if it's going to be a situation where we pop our heads above it come back retest it flip it as support and then we go off to the races or if we reject from here, come back, maybe come here to 442, this demand zone down here, or maybe the gap, or maybe all the way down here. I don't think this is honestly going to happen at this point, but it is definitely a possibility with how far this thing has gone today without a proper pullback. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. What I did point out is, hey, this does show us that we have demand. I'm going to come down to the three minute time frame. And we're just going to see, hey, you did pop your head up above there. I'm going to point out you do have increasing volume, all right? Demand is going down, all right? Or, or, that is someone, you know, people, the, the dealers or whatever, whoever it may be, taking a sell right here, all right? So you don't know, and that's why, hey, if you are up right now, it is not a bad idea to lock in those profits. You can always get back in on one of e either scenario I just mentioned, whether we pop our head above here, come back down there, or maybe you just miss out. I don't know. Or you could try your hand at scalping as the days go by until we get up there. I don't know. You could do whatever you want, but I am definitely going to say it's very wise to be locking in that profit. Now, I will point out here, on the daily time frame, it's only 1.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right now, and it does look like you are going to have the increasing buy volume on the day to support this move, which is going to show on a macro scale that, hey, yeah, demand is back in this, which means, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just going to say, 4.48, be open to it. Be open to it. We've been saying it for quite some time, and now we're just getting price action proving to us that that is becoming the case. I'm not saying you are going to get that pullback, but we do have a gap now to be filled all the way down here. It's like a double gap. So if you do come down here and reject off here and come down and fill that, I expect, yeah, buyers are probably going to hold the line. But that is all the way down at 438.37. Now, we also do have, uh, we have that one, and then we also have this one right here. So that's what I was talking about, but the double gap. We have 438.37, and we have 438.28 as of today. And boy, is this a crazy move. This is insane. Let's move on over to QQQ. Let's point out right here, you do look like you are also going to have that increasing buy volume going into the day. If you do have an intraday reversal from here, which I don't think is likely here on QQQ, considering you are just like, yeah, you're consolidating here, but you don't have resistance until you come up here and then you have your supply zone. Uh, and if you do end up coming up there, hey, all right, same thing as I'm pointing out on SPY. Hey, look for rejection. That's just immediately what you want to be expecting at these things, which is why it is wise to be taking your profits. But on QQQ, if you do get the midday rejection here, you get a midday reversal. Uh, this could turn into increasing sell volume. We don't know. We're going to have to wait until the end of the day. I will cover this in the weekly update. So if you are a fan of how that sounds, hey, I got you coming out tomorrow. We got it. Um, but again, hey, follow the Twitter just for literally just updates every day after the close. I will include one after today as well. All right, now jumping over to IWM. IWM is up at the top of the supply zone. And if you can break above here, the next stop will be all the way up here at 192. Yeah, just about 192 up there. And after that, you have a date with 195. So I'm not saying you do get on up here, but it's the same thing I was just pointing on in SPY. If you do pop your head above it, you're looking for the retest. If you want a buying opportunity, that is going to be your buying opportunity. We clear as they do have a uh, uptrend going on. You continuously have these higher lows, higher highs. 
you know, more higher highs, higher lows, and we have another higher high. And we mentioned all the way back over here. Once you got the 30 minute close above, that's exactly what you're watching for. You're looking for it to go to level to level. And once we got here, we were saying, hey, all right, we could begin that pullback back over here, or you could just literally pull back to right here and go on to the next level. Well, guess what? You got the best of both worlds. You got both those, and then you went off to the races. So, Congrats to any IWM traders out there. I personally had uh, I had 183 calls for this Friday, and then I had 185 calls for next Friday's expiration, and I sold those all the way down here. So uh, you know, you know, this I'm not gonna say this is, I, but it's it's also it's a part of the game. All right, it is a part of the game. Uh, if you guys would like to join me as I am playing the game, and you guys would like options alerts over there. I have, um, you know, we've been killing it over there in the Discord this week. So if you want to join the community over there, link is down below. And I will also remind you guys that we do have the Substack weekly update coming out this Saturday as well. So go click the link down below and go fall over there if you would like to get a written update of tomorrow's weekly update that we do here on the channel. All right, with that being said, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.